kill chickens. <laughs> All of a sudden, we were the most notorious band on the planet. Damn April 30th is getting closer, and it's the day that most in the country that have been clamoring to see the new Alice Cooper movie, Super Duper Alice Cooper, have been waiting for. One of the big eye-openers was the revelation that Alice was on the ropes with freebasing and cocaine use, and at the Revolver Golden Gods last week, we asked Alice about seeing the film for the first time on the big screen at the Tribeca Film Festival. You know, it was cool because of the fact that there were a lot of uncomfortable moments in it. Well, there was just moments that normally you would edit that out, but I said leave it in because it struck a nerve, and even my nerve went e, you know. But you can't. You got to tell the story. You can't salve it over. You have to give the, the real story, you know. The filmmaker said that they saw a door open when they decided to talk to Alice's good friend Bernie Taupin for the film, and it was with Bernie, best known for his collaborations with Elton John, that much of the drug use in the late 1970s took place. Uh, one thing that was revealed in, in making the documentaries, Alice has always talked about alcohol and drinking and um, has never talked about drugs. This is something that he's always been anti-drugs, and uh, we were... Um, uh, Sorry, I'm forgetting his name. Why am I doing this? But, yeah, sorry. We were just uh, we, we were do a lot of drugs too. <laughs> we, we were uh, interviewing. Uh, we wanted to interview Bernie Taupin because they were best friends in the '70s. Uh, Bernie and Alice, and, and Bernie said, "I would do the, the I'll do the documentary, uh, but Alice has to open up to talk about the drugs beyond the alcohol." So we phoned Shep. Shep phoned Alice, and Alice finally agreed to talk about um, this. I mean, he was almost, he almost got killed, you know, by his, he went so deep into uh, cocaine and, and uh, freebasing that, uh, that really almost killed him. And I think that that's, that was a revelation for us because when we started the film, we did our research, there's nothing about that out there. He's never spoken about it. So I think it was good for him to finally get that out. And Bernie and him, uh, you know, Bernie felt good because he always felt like he got, Alice into that to begin with. So for him, it was a sort of reconcili reconciliation. Super Duper Alice Cooper also aired at the Grammy Museum and will begin showing in over 250 U.S. cinemas and venues tomorrow. Each screening will include a welcome and a pre-recorded Keep Calm and Just Ask Alice Q&A. Go to superduperalicecooper.com for ticket and theater information.